Okay, so let's just remind ourselves about the discriminant. Okay, so it's this value, b squared minus 4ac, okay, which of course is underneath the square root in the quadratic formula. Okay, so all we've got to do is look at this value for any quadratic and we can determine the nature of its roots, okay? Whether it's got two real and distinct roots, okay? Whether it's got a one root, okay, or a repeated root, um, or whether it's got no real roots at all, okay? Just by looking at the value of this. So remember now, quadratic is in that general format there. So when I look at what I've got here, um, A will be the value in front of the X squared, okay, which is just one. B will be the value in front of the X, which is positive two and c will be the value in uh, the constant at the end there, which is negative three. So when I then work out b squared minus four ac, it's a simple case of substituting in, okay? So b will be two, so two squared, take away four times a times c. Well, a is one and c is negative three. So if I work that out there, I end up being, that ends up coming to be 16, okay? Now, more interested in whether it's positive, negative, or zero. So in this case, it's clearly positive. So we can say, look, since b squared minus 4ac is positive, then the equation has two real and distinct. They're different. Distinct means different, remember, okay? So two distinct and real roots. Okay, so if we look at the second one, in this case here, A is equal to one, B is equal to negative two, the value in front of the X, and C is equal to three. So if I do B squared minus four AC this time, well, I'll get, um, well, B is negative two, so we've got to square it. So let's remember to put it in a bracket because when you square a negative, it becomes positive, yeah? But you should put it in a bracket, otherwise the calculator won't work it out properly. Minus four AC, it's four times one times C. So let's just do that on the calculator just to be sure. Okay, so in this case here, uh, bracket minus two, bracket squared minus four times one times three, and we get negative eight minus eight. So in that case, um, we've got b squared minus 4ac is a negative less than zero. So therefore, the equation, since it's less than zero, has no real roots. So remember, in that quadratic formula, you're not going to get any results. Okay, so there's no real roots in, in, in that case. So the curve does not cross the x-axis. Okay. So then let's look at the last one here for question one. So in this case, A is equal to one. Again, the value in front of the X squared. B is minus four, the value in front of X, and C is equal to four. So in this case, B squared minus four AC is equal to minus four all squared, minus four times A times C. So if I work that out, And I get zero. So in this case, the discriminant, okay, and remember we call this value the discriminant, okay, b squared minus 4ac, it's given that name. In this case is zero. So when it comes out to be zero, okay, we get a repeated root or equal roots, okay. So therefore, equation has equal, okay. Or we say repeated roots. So this is the case where the curve will just touch the x-axis, okay? So it'll have one point of intersection with the x-axis.